Adding your own image to is very easy. First, you want to go ahead and upload your images. You can upload more than one image at a time by just holding the select key and selecting the image that you want to upload. After you upo uploaded your image, it will show up in my images. To insert them in any of the video templates, simply go under effects and grab the image effect. You can drag it to the timeline to anywhere you want it to be and just drop it. And you notice it to make a new track. If you put your scrubber above it, you can see the image is right there. And now you can actually drag anywhere you want, put it anywhere in the timeline that you want. So maybe if this were a logo for example, I may want to put it at the end, I could just drag it to the end here, somewhere around here. And as I can put my timeline there, I can see the logo is there. Sometimes you may need to scale it, just drag the scale to make it smaller or bigger, show it all. Or position to move it around a little bit if you want it to be in a specific spot. And of course this is a fade in fade out, how you want the logo to fade in fade out. And by the way, if you need to drag um, to add more logos, you can simply drag the image effect again and drop it on the timeline and it will keep adding new tracks and you can layer multiple images. Finally, add your own image. Just click on the image timeline, go to your images and drag the image that you uploaded into the media section here so it will pretty much replace the default one. So I want to get rid of the default one, just drag it and drag it out and now you have your own logo in there and see our logo is a little bit big so we want to probably scale it a little bit to suit the size and that's pretty much how to add your logo or images remember if you want it to show up somewhere you can simply just drag it to wherever you want it to show up at and to be there so you can pretty much place it anywhere and you can place multiple remember to first drag the effect the image effect in here and then replace the default one with your logo and place it anywhere on the timeline and that's how to add your images.